Tom in Ottawa. Tom, you're on Beyond the News. Yeah, hi, Brian. Oh, uh, Tom want- Harris, how are you? <laughs> Uh, pretty good. You, you'd probably not be surprised that I hear it through a climate science and energy perspective and compare the candidates that way. Uh, and from the, that point and of- this is Tom Harris from the International Climate Science Coalition. So have you done a breakdown of the, the candidates oh, on yeah. this? Okay. Yeah, in fact, we've been dealing with Kevin O'Leary's campaign, myself and one of our supporters from Pembroke, trying to get them to actually answer some basic questions about Kevin O'Leary's position. And sadly, he we eventually concluded he was very much like Patrick Brown. Uh, He says he does not support a carbon tax, but this is an email I have from a couple of weeks ago from his um, central and eastern regional organizer. He says he does believe that we need to reduce but not eliminate the carbon in our atmosphere. Uh, You know, I mean, these guys don't know what they're talking about, and they're not learning. Uh, Our supporter from Pembroke actually sent a nice email explaining some of the science, and his, his advisor writes back saying that he thinks we should reduce but not eliminate the carbon in our atmosphere. Well, if we eliminated the carbon, I think, what what would happen to us, Tom? Would we all die? There'd be no plants plants left. Yeah, yeah, it's it's ridiculous. I mean, I I don't eat a lot of vegetables, so maybe this is fine for me. But the cows do, and I rely on the cows. That's right. So it's not only stupid. You know, he's, he's basically saying that they would have some other method of controlling carbon in our atmosphere, which, of course, it isn't. It's carbon dioxide. But... To me, it's a bit of a litmus test. I mean, if they can't say things that make any sense or even remotely conservative on a big issue like climate change, can we really trust them on other things? And that's why I don't support Patrick Brown, because Patrick Brown, of course, twists and turns and does everything he can to avoid answering direct questions. So I wrote back to to, uh, Kevin O'Leary's campaign and I asked them just point blank. And I did this a few times, but they wouldn't answer. I said, why does Kevin believe that we need to reduce but not eliminate the carbon in our atmosphere? No answer. Okay. And so I think Brad Trost is quite right when he said in the clip that you played before the news that we need people who have the courage to stand up and say what is really true, even if it's not politically correct at the moment. They well, have to learn how to sell oh, you it. Know That's what, the Tom? trouble. You know what, Tom? Say what you believe. That's right. And if, That's right. if Kevin O'Leary is on board with the Paris Agreement and Kyoto and all of that, then say it. It's only when we can clearly say what we believe that you and I can engage in a debate back and forth. Well, yeah, and Brad Trost is the only one I can see that's saying things that really make sense. I mean, Trost has a background in uh, geology, so, you know, he does actually know what he's talking about. I'm disappointed with Bernier. It was only a couple of years ago he was saying that he didn't believe the climate scare. But when he was speaking in uh, Queen's University uh, just a couple of weeks ago, he said that he supported carbon, quote, unquote, tax implementation on the provincial level, but he won't impose a federal carbon tax. So, you know, this kind of wishy-washy conservative person well, who's, I, I don't really... It, you know, no, that, no, no, that, no, I, I can completely understand that, because if the province wants to do it, it's up to the province. And as a conservative, we have to uh, believe in the Constitution and respect provincial jurisdiction. Yeah, and so if, if they want to do that, then, hey, have at her. I've always said Quebecers should only elect conservatives federally, and then they connect, can elect whatever socialist they want provincially because the conservatives will stay out of their business more than the others. Yeah, I would agree with that if he had said he supports the right of the provinces to actually decide the, themselves if they want to have a carbon tax. But But he actually said he supports carbon well, tax implementation. Fair and, enough. And you see, that that's where I think this kind of wishy-washy Patrick Brown, we're for it, but we're not really for it, but we're against it, we're not really against it. I mean, come on, say what you really think and do what Brad Trost does, and that is say what he thinks, and he thinks the whole thing's nonsense, and, and I agree with him, and that's why I support him. All right. Tom, thanks for the call. Okay, thank you. 521-TALK, 521-8255, star 580 on Bell Mobility, or 1-800-580-CFRA. He's hated in official Ottawa, which is okay in our books. Beyond the News with Brian Lilly on News Talk 580 CFRA.